Hi, I'm Tim Miller. The NOCO Booster is a great tool when your car battery has gone flat. It can quickly and easily get your car running again. Before you can use your NOCO Boost Jump Starter, it must be charged. But what if it won't charge? What should you look at to try and fix the problem? This video is for you. There are six common reasons why NOCO Boost not charging. The first problem is connected to the wrong USB port. The Genius Boost all have two USB ports, one input and one output. If you accidentally connect to the wrong USB port, the internal boost battery will not be charged. USB input port is used for recharging the internal battery. When charging the NOCO Genius Boost battery, it's essential to connect the USB cable to the USB in port. The USB output port is used for charging other electrical devices like mobile phones, headsets, or other USB devices. The second problem you will likely meet is your electrical outlet not working. The NOCO is charged through the USB in port. It can be connected to various USB charging points, including an electrical outlet adapter. If you plug the NOCO boost into an electrical outlet and it's not charging, the outlet may have a problem. The first thing to try is plugging into another outlet. If this cures the fault, you need to call an electrician to look at the outlet. The next problem is the damaged internal battery. Like any battery, the one inside the NOCO boost must be recharged regularly. Usually, once a month is enough, but this can vary depending on where you store it. Check the charge of the battery periodically and recharge if required. It can damage the battery if you don't follow the correct jump start procedure. Always follow the instructions given in the NOCO manual. If you suspect a problem with the internal battery, don't attempt to take the NOCO GB Boost apart yourself. NOCO has troubleshooting and warranty support, so you can contact at support at no.co or 1-800-456-6626. Another possibility for not charging could be a damaged USB cable. First, run the cable through your fingers, checking for any kinks or cuts. Just a tiny mark in the outer coating could indicate damage to one of the thin wires inside. Next, look at each of the connectors and ensure they don't appear damaged. If you have a spare USB cable, it's easy to check. If the original is damaged, simply replace it. Dirty USB port is another cause. The NOCO booster is very likely to be used outside and in possibly dirty conditions. It may be stored in your garage, where there are numerous liquids and oils it could come into contact with. Look closely at the USB port for dust, dirt, or corrosion. Any of these can prevent good contact between the cable and the charging port. Dust can be removed by using a can of compressed air, the same type used on computer systems. Dirty contacts can be cleaned using a spray contact cleaner. Don't try to push anything into the USB port, as you may damage it. The last problem you may encounter is the charging USB port has failed. If you have replaced the USB cable, inspected, and cleaned the input socket on the NOCO Boost, then it could be the input charging port at fault. This is not something the amateur will be able to replace or repair. Just contact the NOCO support line for further help. Hope this video could help you identify the problem and fix it. Subscribe to my channel for more helpful videos.